Question is the product owner determines how many product backlog items the development team selects for a sprint. Option A false. Option B true accordingly to what was committed to the stakeholders. Option C true but only after confirmation by the resource manager that the team has enough capacity. Option D true. Option E false. The scrum master does that. Option F false. Capacity and commitment are the project manager's responsibility. Correct answer is option A. False. Next question is, which three of the following are feedback loops in Scrum? Choose three options. Option A. Sprint review. Option B. Release planning. Option C. Sprint retrospective. Option D. Refinement meeting. Option E. Daily Scrum. Correct answer is option A, C and E. Sprint review. Sprint Retrospective and Daily Scrum. Next question is, when a development team is having trouble delivering a working increment because they don't understand a functional requirement, what should they do? Option A. Add a specialist to the development team. Option B. Partially complete the functionality and discuss the remaining work at the sprint review. Option C. Collaborate with the product owner to determine what is possible and acceptable. Option D. Defer the work to a more appropriate sprint. Correct answer is option C. Collaborate with the product owner to determine what is possible and acceptable. Next question is, when is the sprint backlog created? Option A. At the beginning of the project. Option B. During the sprint planning meeting. Option C. Prior to the sprint planning meeting. Option D. During the sprint. Correct answer is option B, during the sprint planning meeting. Next question is, which of the following services are appropriate for a scrum master in regard to daily scrum? Option A, lead the discussions of the development team. Option B, make sure that all the three questions have been answered by the each member of the team. Option C, keep track of, whatever, of whether each team member has a chance, chance to speak. Option D, Teach the development team to keep the daily scrum within the 15 minute time box. Option E. All of the above. Correct answer is option D. Teach the development team to keep the daily scrum within the 15 minutes time box. Next question is, which of the following might the scrum team discuss during a sprint retrospective? Option A. Methods of communication. Option B. The way the scrum team does sprint planning. Option C. Skills needed to improve the development team's ability to deliver. Option D. Its definition of done. Option E. All of the above. Correct answer is option E. All of the above. Next question is, what are the two primary ways a scrum master keeps a development team working at its highest level of productivity? Choose two options. Option A. By ensuring the meetings that start and end at the proper time. Option B. By removing impediments that hinder the development team. Option C. By facilitating development team decisions. Option D. By keeping high value features high in the product backlog. Correct answer is option B and option C. By removing impediments that hinder the development team and by facilitating development team decisions. Next question is, what is the recommended size for a development team? Option A. 7 plus or minus 3. Option B, at least 7. Option C, 9. Option D, 3 to 9. Correct answer is option B, 3 to 9. Next question is, you are the scrum master of a new to be developed product. Development is going to require 45 people. What is a good first question for you to suggest the group thinks about when forming into teams? Option A, how will we make sure all teams have the right amount of expertise? Option B. What is the right mixture of senior and junior people on each team? Option C. Who are going to be the team leads? Option D. Who are the subject matter experts on each team? Correct answer is option A. How will we make sure that all teams have the right amount of expertise? Next question is, which two activities will be product owner engage in during a sprint? Choose two options. Option A. Run the daily scrum. Option B. Prioritize the development team's work on the sprint backlog. Option C. Update the sprint burn down chart. Option D. 
Answer questions from the development team about items in the current sprints. Option E. Work with the stakeholders. Correct answer is option D and option E. Answer questions from the development team about items in the current sprint and work with the stakeholder. Next question is, which three questions might be answered by development team members at the daily scrum? Choose three options. Option A. How is the sprint proceeding? Option B. What did I do yesterday that helped the development team meet the sprint goal? Option C. Why were you late? Option D. What will I do today to help the development team meet the sprint goal? Option E. How many hours did I spend on the project yesterday? Option F. What will I be working on tomorrow? Option G. Do I see any impediment that prevents me or the development team from meeting the sprint goal? Correct answer is option B, D and G. What did I do yesterday that I helped the development team meet the sprint goal? What will I do today to help the development team meet the sprint goal? And do I see any impediment that prevents me to the development team from meeting the sprint goal?